in the heart of a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and lush forests, lived a young girl named Elara. Elara was known throughout the village for her radiant smile and her unyielding positivity. No matter what challenges came her way, she faced them with unwavering optimism. Alara's positive outlook on life was not simply a result of her nature, but also a consequence of the company she kept. Her closest friends were an eclectic group of individuals, each possessing their own unique qualities that contributed to the tapestry of their friendship. There was Liam, the talented painter whose imagination knew no bounds. Amira, a gentle healer who mended both bodies and spirits. Kael, a philosopher who pondered the mysteries of the universe. And May, an adventurous explorer who constantly sought the beauty of the world. One day, news arrived in the village about a legendary garden of radiance hidden deep within the enchanted forest surrounding the village. It was said that anyone who entered the garden would be surrounded by an aura of positivity and their dreams and aspirations would flourish beyond imagination. Eager to experience such a phenomenon, Elara and her friends decided to embark on a journey to find this garden. As they ventured into the forest, the challenges grew tougher, and doubts began to creep into their minds. The forest was dense and treacherous, with twisting paths that seemed to lead them in circles. With each passing day, their camaraderie was put to the test Elara. However, remained the beacon of hope, reminding them of their collective goal. One evening, as they set up camp by a serene river, Kael voiced his frustration. This journey is proving to be more challenging than I anticipated, he admitted. I'm beginning to wonder if this garden truly exists. Amira nodded in agreement. It's hard to stay positive when we're constantly faced with obstacles. Liam looked downcast, his usually vibrant spirit dampened by the trials they had encountered. Maybe we should turn back. This might be a wild goose chase. Elara listened to her friend's concerns. And then, with a soft smile, she began to speak. I understand that this journey has been tough. But remember why we started it in the first place. We are seeking positivity. And that doesn't just come from external sources. It comes from within us. And it's nurtured by the company we keep. May chimed in. Alara's right. We are each other's positive influences. The garden might amplify what's already within us. But our strength lies in our unity. With renewed determination. The group pressed on. They faced treacherous terrain, unpredictable weather, and moments of doubt. But they never lost sight of the positive energy they shared. Their bonds grew stronger, and their spirits lifted, as they remembered the warmth of their friendships. After weeks of perseverance, they stumbled upon a clearing in the heart of the forest there. Bathed in the soft glow of the setting sun, was the Garden of Radiance. The air was alive with a palpable sense of positivity. And the flowers seemed to bloom in harmony with the melodies of their hearts. As they stepped into the garden, they realized that the garden's magic didn't lie solely in its mystical aura. Instead, it was the culmination of the positivity they had cultivated within themselves and among their friends. The garden merely amplified what was already present. In that garden, surrounded by beauty and each other, Elara and her friends learned a profound lesson. Positive influences weren't just external factors. They were choices they made in the company they kept and the attitudes they nurtured. The journey itself had been the true garden of radiance. A testament to their unwavering bonds and shared optimism. Upon returning to the village. Elara and her friends continued to be beacons of positivity. Not only for themselves but for the entire community. Their story spread far and wide. Inspiring others to surround themselves with positive influences and to remember that the true. Garden of Radiance flourishes within the hearts of those who nurture it together.